Today I'm going to show you how to make princess seams. There are different types of the princess seams. I'm going to show you the most simple ones first, and then the more complicated ones. Princess seams make the garments look absolutely amazing. They can help you make the garments fit you perfectly. I recommend making princess seams for those who have big busts and they want their clothes to be close fitting. It's easier to make close fitting garments with the princess seams than with the usual tucks. Princess seams also make the garments stronger. They also look good in garments for small sizes. This is my basic pattern. Have a close look at it. I've changed it a bit for this tutorial. I've made it look like my hips are wider than they really are. This is the back and this is the front. I've decided to show you how to work with such patterns, because I know that a lot of people have such hips. I'm sure that this technique is pretty useful. I want to make princess seams in this pattern. The first one will go down from the front shoulder, and the second one down from the back shoulder. There will also be a side seam here. What should I do first? I need to measure this distance. Almost 4 cm. 3.5 would be enough. I'll write it down here. 3.5 cm extension. I don't want to cut the pattern the way it is now. If the lower part of your body is pretty full, you need to move the opening to the back tuck. If it's not, you can allocate the opening to the back and the front tucks and the side seam. I don't want to make the opening of the front tuck bigger. I want to divide the opening into the back tuck and the side seam. You can even move a part of the opening to the center back. I'll show you how to do it. You can add up to 1 cm here. I recommend adding 6 or 7 mm. It can be done in case the lower back part of your body is pretty full. I'll also add about 7 mm here. That makes this opening just 2 cm wide. I've made the extension in the side seam smaller by allocating its parts to the back tuck and the center back. Next, I'm going to cut the side seam. I'm cutting it according to the drawn lines. I remind you that the width of the extension is 2 cm. I haven't managed to cut this detail accurately. I'll fix it. I'm glad that I've decided to show you what to do with the extension on the hips. We often make garments with the princess seams. Not only dresses and tops, but also coats and jackets, for example. What should we pay attention to when working with the princess seams? Firstly, have a look at these points. 
Be very accurate when working with the waist tucks. When measuring the waist, we usually put the measuring tape very tight. We always want to look slimmer than we really are. When sewing outer clothes, I recommend making the tucks a bit tighter than they are in the patterns. Don't cut them right along the lines. Make them more smooth. You can cut them right along the lines in the dresses, but not in the outer clothes. I've decided to shoot these series of videos for you, because I think that it's much better to see something once than to read about it twice. What do you think? I remind you that practice makes perfect. Next, I need to cut the pattern this way. This is the most simple type of the princess seams. This is the waist tuck, and this is the shoulder dart. This is the center back. It's very convenient to work with the tucks and darts this way. Their openings are in the same seam now. There was a sharp angle here in the shoulder dart. It should be changed. I'll make the line more smooth. Don't cut too much. This is also very important. The lines shouldn't be too smooth either. The lines shouldn't be straight, they should be round. When making a pattern, make sure that the lines are beautiful. It's very important to be able to work with the lines accurately. I've already told you about working with the waist tucks. Now you know how to do it. I remind you that I've made this detail a bit wider by allocating the hips extension. As I've already said, you can also move a part of the extension here, in case the lower back part of your body is pretty full. Even if your hip extension is pretty big, it does mean that the full extension should be placed here. There is one very important rule. Do not forget about the evenness when working with the openings and extensions. Just imagine how a garment would look like if you place the full extension in the side seam. Watch what I'm doing next. Such princess seams are perfect for people with a full bust. I'm not talking about the bust size. I'm talking about the bust measurement. As I've already said, this is the most simple type of the princess seams. I'm going to attach a piece of the tracing paper here to show you how to alter the pattern in this case. It's very important to be able to work with the patterns accurately. Those who have slim waist can draw additional tucks here. I'm drawing it by sight, just for you to see what you need to do. Those who have sunken backs can also make additional tucks here. I'll show you what to do in case your bus measurement is pretty big. This is how the lines in my pattern look like now. This is the bus stop. I'll sign it. 
I need to make this line more round, making sure that it goes through the bus stop. You can make the extension even bigger. It depends just on your measurement. Notice that the princess seam is of different shape now. I'll cut the pattern for you to see everything clearly. This is how the princess seam should look like, in case your bust measurement is pretty big. This is the most simple type of the princess seams. I want you to have a close look at the tucks once again. This is the pattern for the regular type of body. There are also irregular bodies. Sometimes there is no need to make waist tucks on the front or in the back. Some have sunken back, so they have to make big waist tucks on the back. There might be no need for them to make tucks on the front. I show you the techniques for working not only with the regular bodies, but also with the irregular bodies. People are different, and so are other techniques. This is why I recommend you making mock-ups. There is no other way to learn your body and its peculiarities. Those who have sunken back can also make seams on the waist and the back details. There is no need for them to make waist seams on the front. This is also a very useful technique. I remember that this is the video about the princess seams. I just can't stop myself from showing you some other useful details. In this case, you will have to stitch the seam this way. Notice that I haven't changed the side seam. I did it in order for the details to match. I remind you that this is what can be done in case your back is sunken. If you make a waist seam on the back, it doesn't mean that you need to make a waist seam on the front. You can, for example, make waist seams in the back when sewing jackets. In this case, the side seam should be moved closer to the back. I'll move it here. There will be no seam here. I'll cut the pattern according to the new lines. In the previous video, I've shown you the techniques for working with the patterns in case your hips are white. Watch it if you haven't done it yet. I moved the side seam closer to the back in order for the pattern to be logical. I'm not going to make side details instead of the side seams. I'm not going to make princess seams on the back. I've moved the side seam closer to the back, and I'm going to make a princess seam on the front. It's up to you where to draw the princess seam. I want to move the chest dart to the princess seam, for it to be not that long. I want it to be about 9 cm long. 
не более 9 сантиметров. This is why I'm going to draw Princess Imp through this point. A Princess Imp could be drawn this way. It will be accurate in this case. I wanted to go to the shoulder, not to the top, but a bit lower. You can draw the seams however you want. There are no rules for drawing. I want the princess seam to look this way. I need to cut it next. When I cut the pattern, I'll show you what to pay attention to. After that, I'll tell you when such seams are most often used. I hope that it's clear that I've moved the tuck here. If your bust is of a big size, you'll have to make two tucks here. The only thing left for me to do is to move the chest dart. I prefer drawing bias darts. This is how it's going to look like in the pattern. If you make darts bias the way I showed you, they won't be seen to a person standing in front of you. I think that this is a very useful technique. I've cut the new dart, so I can close the original one. You can also get rid of the way stuck on the back if you want. In this case, you will have to move a part of its opening to the side seam and to the center back. Watch the way I'm doing it. This technique is suitable not for all types of bodies. Sometimes there is nothing else for you to do but to make a waist tuck on the back. Have a close look at the pattern. This is how the armhole looks like. The side seam was moved closer to the back. This is how the princess seam looked like. It doesn't go through the center bust. I've promised to tell you about this type of the princess seams. They are mostly made in non-classical jackets, coats, most often they are used in business-style dresses. This is actually a perfect design for the business-style dress. The princess seams in this pattern go to the shoulders. They could have ended in the armholes as well. I'll show you this type of the princess seams in one of the next videos. Princess seams on the front, and the side seams were moved closer to the back. Notice that the back, the side, and the front details look almost even. This is a very useful pattern. The princess seam could have also been drawn this way. It would have been perfectly fine as well. Тоже 
I'll cut the pattern this way for you to see everything clearly. I show you a lot of different useful techniques. Don't be lazy. Remember that practice makes perfect. You can also draw princess seams this way. I liked it the way it was better. These are the front, the side and the back details. As I've already said, the design is perfect for the light clothes. Business style dresses, light summer dresses. You can also make additional waist tucks if needed. I'm glad that I've shown you this type of the princess seams. I'm going to show you one more type today. I've made one more basic pattern with the hips extension. This is the back. And this is the front. The width of the extension is 3.5 cm. Both the back and the front are going to be made of the three details. A princess seam in the front will go from the shoulder to the very bottom. I'll sign the center front. This is the center back. In the previous video, I showed you the technique for working with a full bust measurement. Next, I need to divide the front into two more details. That doesn't mean that I need to use a ruler for making two absolutely even details. It's not needed. Do it by side. You can make one of the details wider than the other. It's okay. I'm drawing one more princess seam here. It should go to the armhole. The line should be drawn logically. I'm not telling you to draw them parallel to this one. I'll make a tuck here in the princess seam. This is the center front detail. Center. This is the middle detail at the front. This is the side detail at the front. I'll show you what to pay attention to. I want to make these extensions smaller. I'm going to do it by moving a part of the extension here. You can also move some to the center back. Next, I need to cut the side seam according to the new lines. I've already shown you this technique for cutting the patterns. Notice that I'm not making angles here when cutting. I'm making round smooth lines. I would also like to make a cut here and open it for about 3 mm. This opening shouldn't be made in the fabric. This part should be ironed accurately. In this case, it will make the part of the dress fit the body perfectly. This is a very useful technique. 
I show you the techniques which we use in my fashion house. Some of them we create ourselves, so you won't be able to find them in any books or magazines. I'm not going to show you how to change this line for those who have full bust measurements. I've shown you how to do it in the previous video. There will be two princess seams in the front. Just imagine how the dress would look like. Absolutely amazing. Next, I need to do the same thing on the back. I remind you that I've added a part of the hips extension here. I wanted to show you something different, so I've changed my pattern in such way that it looks as if I have slim waist and wide hips. I'll make this line more smooth as well. I'm also going to drop one more princess seam here. You can also move the side seam a bit closer to the front. The design is perfect for allocating the openings of the waist tucks. It's very easy to do it. This is the center back detail. This is the middle back detail. And this is the side back detail. Think about the length of the garment in advance. It won't be convenient to make each detail longer separately. This is a very interesting design. Such princess seams make the garments fit the bodies perfectly. It's sometimes hard to make the back part of the armhole fit the body. In this case, making princess seam here would solve the problem. It's interesting that this design is suitable for different types of bodies. Today I've shown you two types of the princess seams. I'm glad that I've decided to make this series of videos for you. You might find them boring, but they're actually very useful. I show you a lot of useful techniques in my tutorials, but it might be hard for you to find the video video sometimes. This is why I've decided to make this series of videos and talk about some of the useful techniques and details. My course on the 10 measurement current system is available. It will teach you how to make perfect basic patterns according to your own measurements. Having a basic pattern, you will be able to sew anything you want. That's all for today. Be different and beautiful. My name is Pauk Shtirina. Subscribe to my channel, write comments, share the videos, press the like and the bell buttons. I would really appreciate your support. Thank you. Goodbye.